Hey everybody, Sensei Aldis and Sensei Elena here. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually combining the 7 to Adult, Beginner, Intermediate, and the Advanced. We've kind of got this weird week. It was a long month, so it would be like instructor's choice to do whatever we wanted in class. So I'm going to just combine all of the ranks together for 7 to Adult and work on some uh, the jab, cross, hook, uppercut combination. I'll show you some other ways that you guys can practice it on your own, too, um, with a partner, if you have your mom or dad at home, okay, your brothers or sisters. Um, and I would encourage parents and siblings to actually practice with the student here and have some, little, have some fun with this. A lot of families have been doing that, and they've, are, they're actually enjoying that, that process. But anyways, we're going to work on jab, cross, hook, uppercut. We'll put some kicking combinations in there. And that's going to be our class for today. And then what I'm going to want you guys to do is the white belt to yellow with the black stripe, row cues, beginner intermediate group. I want you to practice that first half of Pinan Nidan. Next week, we're going to start learning the second half. Now, if you know the whole kata, go ahead and do the whole kata. But just take your time and really work on the first half of getting things right. You know, good strong stances, front knee is bent, good speed, power, and focus. All right, but I want you to do that kata 10 times. Now, it only takes about 30 seconds to do that kata. So if you think about it, it's only like maybe five to seven minutes of practice with little breaks in between, okay? And the advanced group for green belt and higher, our Team Tamashi students, I want you to work on Pinan Yoran that we've been studying this month. At least if you know the whole kata again, you can do the whole kata. Um, what did I say last time, Sensei Elena? Ten times? Yeah. So I want you guys to do your cut at least ten times. If you know the whole thing, you can do the whole thing. If you only know half, just work on the first half. But I want you to do it ten times today um, on your own, okay? Because I'm not going to really review that. It was on last week's video and the week before that's video. So there's plenty of access to that cut that we've done so far, okay? So let's get warmed up a little bit and we'll, we'll bow in. We'll warm up and stretch out for a minute and we'll get going, okay? All right. Kyotsuke. Seiza. Shinza nire. Sensei, you right? Onigai shimasu. Mokso. stand up. So let's come, come over here. All right, so let's just put your hands on your side. Loosen up your neck side to side. Step up a little later. Side to side with your head. Nice stretch of the neck out. Some slow circles. Reverse it. Good. And let your arms hang down low and roll those shoulders back. So if you look from the side, you're going to roll those shoulders. Warm those Shoulder joints and muscles up for our punching. And go forward, forward. Good. All right. So get some bigger circles going. And reverse it. And back. Good. Shake it out a little bit. Okay, so what I want you guys to do right now is put one hand out, bring it across, put your left hand out front, I'm doing my right, bring it across, stretch out your neck a little bit. And down, and go grab my other mitts real quick. And bring this one across, stretch. Awesome, good job. Okay, we'll, we'll loosen up the hips a little bit, side to side, circles, and reverse. 
Good. And feet together, bump the knee joints forward and back. Just like that. Nice. And some little circles. Three, two, one. Reverse it. Ichi, ni, san, chi, go, roku, sichi, hachi. Nice. Butterfly stretches. Pull those in as far as you can. And just kind of bounce those knees gently a little bit. Good job. And let's press them down. Now, if you can make your legs go all the way down, hold it with your elbow, chin up, and lean forward to get a little extra stretch. Let's count to ten. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, kyu, ju. And relax. Okay, good. Put your uh, left leg forward. We'll do our right leg. Pull those toes back. Keep that leg flat on the floor. Lean forward. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, kyu, ju. Relax. Let's go a little lower. Ju ichi, ju ni, ju san, ju shi, ju go, ju roku, ju sichi, ju hachi, ju kyu. Niju. Switch legs. Now we're going to go from Niju to Yanju, which is 20 to 40. But first, let's just go to 30. Ready? Niju Ichi, Niju Ni, Niju San, Niju Shi, Niju Go, Niju Roku, Niju Sichi, Niju Hachi, Niju Kyu, Sanju. And relax. And forward again. Sanju Ichi, Sanju Ni, Sanju San, Sanju Shi. Sanju go, Sanju roku, Sanju sichi, Sanju hachi, Sanju kyu, Yanju. Nice job. Out to the sides. I'll move up a little bit. Good. So we're going to lean forward as far as you can. Get it out there. Hands behind your backside. Push it forward. And let's go from Yanju to Goju. 40 to 50. Yanju ichi, Yanju ni, Yanju san, Yanju shi, Yanju go. Yanju Roku, Yanju Sichi, Yanju Hachi, Yanju Kyu, Goju. Hands in front, lean forward as far as you can. Goju to Rokuju, 50 to 60. Ready? Goju Ichi, Goju Ni, Goju San, Goju Shi, Goju Go, Goju Roku, Goju Sichi, Goju Hachi, Goju Kyu, Rokuju. Nice job. And bring it in slowly, shake them out. Good. Warm it up a little bit. Okay, great. So, take a minute and go ahead and get your gloves on, your bad gloves that we usually weren't working on in class. When you put your gloves on, yeah, your hands get a little bit sweaty, but it gives a little bit of uh, some weight to your hands, so it's going to work on your arm and shoulder muscles. And create a little more muscle endurance. So, all right, great. So, I want to start out first working on the the left jab and the right cross. So, I want you guys to go to put your left leg up front, and we have our right. So, we're looking in the mirror. You should be punching in the same side we are. Now, when you do this punch, keep your guards up. If you look from the side, my back hands along my cheek. Like I always say, it's like you're talking on the phone, okay? We want to hide behind that hand. This hand's just below my eyes and, and right about this side of my head. So I'm going to punch out and I'm going to turn that punch. Remember, good fist. So from here, punch. Don't let this hand drop. So keep it by your head. Talk on the phone. Punch and back. Now also when I punch, you'll notice that my chin is down inside my shoulder here. All right? I don't want to have my head up where they could easily hit me here, okay? Chin is down. I like to think that I'm looking right down and aiming at you, right? So I'm gonna bring it out. I'm not going like this. Chin is down, hands up, I'm hiding right in there. So if you look, I got my head covered between this hand and my shoulder. From here, punch, okay? So I'm gonna have Elena come next to me at standing. You guys stay standing too. And we're gonna do the jab, just slow, right? Ichi, right there, and back. Ni, good, son. Now if you look at Sensei Elena, her body turns a little bit 
You can even twist your front foot just a little on the ball of the foot and put that hip into that punch. Punch Ichi and back. Good, knee and back. So I'm not punching square. I'm turning my body into that sideways, all right? So in that fighting stance, Ichi, knee, San, Shi, Go. Nice. Now the crossing punch. The cross is going to be like this. So when I'm in this position here, the jabbing punch comes back to my head as the cross goes out. And again, I'm looking down my arm, chin tucked into my shoulder here. I want to hide that chin. I'm looking down. You don't see my whole face. You see my eyes looking down that punch. That's what you should see if I was punching at you. Not this. Right there, aiming at your nose. So I'm going to come in here. I pull my front hand to the side of my head. Talk in the phone, turn this punch into that technique, okay? So again, we're here. I pull this back to my head. So take your left hand back, punch with your right side, okay? Here, back, punch. Now the way that looks a little bit faster is this way. So ultimately you want your hands to move at the same time, okay? Not one, two, but you want to work on one. And then back to guard, okay? So let's try that slowly. So you have your left side forward. So you're going to come in left jab, right cross, and guard. I'm sorry, let's just do the cross. Rewind it again. Just, just, just the, the right cross. Ready? Cross. Just like that. Cross. On my count, five. Ichi. Breathe out. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Now let's put both punches together. So it would look like this. If I'm coming close to you, I've got my left jab and my right cross. So those hands are always going to take. If I was going this direction, you have your left jab and your right cross. Look at from here. Left jab, right cross. Coming at you. Left jab, right cross. All right. So let's try that here. Ichi. Now let the body turn and turn. So if I'm coming at you a little closer, jab, cross, jab, cross. You want to let that body turn. So you should see our belts moving a little bit. Stay loose and relaxed. You don't want to be stiff. Ready? Left jab, right cross. Turn that body. Don't be afraid to take your back foot. Let that back foot pivot and let the heel come up a little bit on this, okay? So if I was going jab, Cross. Heel pops up. So let's do uh, five of these. Ready? Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Nice. Good. So let's add the, the cross punch. So from here, I'm going to do a left jab and a right cross. I'm sorry, with a hooking punch. There. So I want to bring that elbow up, and I want to hook in. Here, hook in. So jab, cross, hook. So my elbow and my hand are pretty much level, okay? Jab, cross, hook. Good. Left jab, right cross, hook. Left jab, right cross, hook. Just like that, hook. Let's try a few. That left hand, hook. So I see how I keep this hand up there. Bring it, hook. Here, hook, hook, hook. There, okay. So watch Sense and Lena. I'll be down low so you can see my hands up close. We're doing a left jab, a right cross, and a left hook. Left jab, right cross, left hook. On count, ichi, ni, san. All right, ichi, knee, san. Now, even though I'm on one knee, you'll see both of us turn. Ichi, knee, I'm still twisting, san. So I'm going twist, twist, hook. Jab, cross, hook. That's my body, okay. On my count, all three. Ready, ichi? Yep, breathe. San, shi. Go. Roku. Sichi. 
Hachi. Q. Ju. Nice job. Okay, let's go to the other side. So now you put your right side forward and same thing. I shouldn't need to explain this as much because it's the same as the other side. All right. So left, or we're in a, a right guarding stance. So you're going to do a right jab followed by a left cross. Okay. So let's do the jab first. Five times left jab. Ichi, I'm sorry, right jab. Ichi, ni, san, chin down, shi, go. Now, I want five of the left crosses. Ichi, turn that body. Ni, see how I'm turning my body? San, shi, go, good. Now I want the jab cross. So, right jab, left cross. One more time, slow. Right jab, left cross. Okay, let's get ready with that. Ichi, ni. Make sure you always keep those hands up. If you look at me, I'm never dropping my, I'm not punching and dropping my hands and then bringing them up. They're coming straight out, straight back, right where they started, okay? So, ready? Five of these. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go. Nice. Now we're going to do this right hook. So just like that, let's do a few of these. Turn that body into it. Watch Sensalina behind me. And watch me from here. I get a little bit closer to you guys. So bring it up. Ichi. Ni. San. Shi. Go. Roku. Sichi. Hachi. Okay, so let's try that together. Okay, so we're gonna do a, a right jab, a left cross, and a right hook. Okay, so look at my body. Now watch Elena punch and just watch my feet. Ready? Ichi, ni, san. See my body twisting again? Now watch us together. Come on closer, Elena. So jab, cross, hook. That's the body moving here, okay? So you gotta be loose. All right, let's do uh, eight of this combo, ready? First one slow, jab, cross, hook. Okay, shake it up, get ready. Ichi, ni, san, shi, go, roku, sichi, Hachi. Two more. Q. Ju. Nice. Okay. How'd you guys do on that? Good? So you got to keep, this is not done in a Zenkutsudachi front stance. You're in a fighting stance. You have to be relaxed. You have to be mobile in this. Now, if you're lucky enough to have someone to practice with at home, these focus mitts are really nice to practice with because I can put my hand inside this mitt and I can practice and do what I'm going to show you right now. Some of you guys don't have a, a mitt. You can also use just a paddle if you have a paddle at home. Okay? Um, so we could work this. If you have this kicking shield that you got uh, for some of you guys when you join the dojo, I could come in here. Lena can be in this position. Let me take one of these off real fast. So just kind of relax for a second. I'll give you some pointers on using the targets. So from here, Elena can come in, jab, cross, and then hook, okay? We don't have to hit super duper hard. We just want to work on our technique. Jab, cross, hook, just like that. So here, jab, cross, hook. There you go, jab, cross, hook. Now, we could go right there, say Ichi, and she does all three. Ready, Ichi. Knee. Let's go from a little bit of an angle here. Oh, maybe this angle's Lena. There you go. Ready, Sun. She. Go. Let's go from this angle. Again, Ichi. Knee. So you might do 10 on that side, and then flip around and do 10 on the other side, and then let your partner do that, 
Okay, if you have a partner. If not, then you do it on your own. Now, if you don't have that pad there, you're just going to have to practice in the air like we did in shadow box. Now, if you have a partner that's you know, like a sibling the, or mom or dad that's doing karate with you, this is great. You've got a training partner. Now, if you have mom and dad, big brother, big sister, who's just going to be a helper, then you can kind of play like patty cake. So don't hit them hard, though. So still wear your gloves. Let's give some padding even for the person that doesn't have gloves on. You can do the left jab, right cross, left hook. So we can be moving, jab, cross, hook. Now, this person over here wants to look like they're fighting. We always go left hand to left hand, right to right, left to left. Okay? So jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. So I'm slapping, I'm coming like this. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. So, and then get to where you're moving around a little bit, okay? We come in here, here, move around a little bit, just like we're fighting. Go forward, just gotta go back. Just like that. Another way you guys can practice if you have somebody at home, as long as you both have gloves, this will work too. Again, I'm giving you some drills that you guys can practice on your own. I want you to get to be a little self-reliant um, on, on your practice, okay? So from here, we're in a left guarding stance and we can touch our gloves, left jab, right cross, left hook. We don't have to hit hard, hands are up, one, two, three, okay? Jab, cross, hook, move around a little bit, jab, cross, hook, but you should both look like you're fighting. Jab, cross, hook. So we're both throwing a combination. Now you never actually want to do this when you're fighting. <laughs> jab, cross, hook. Just like that. Come in. Jab, cross, hook. Now if you're higher ranked, you get good at this a little bit faster. Ready? Go. Just like that. Go. 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 how fast we go. Go, go, nice, just like that, okay? And you would flip around and do the right side. We go right jab, left cross, hook. And if I was you, I would use your big bad gloves. You can use your sparring gloves, but those aren't made for a lot of contact. Try to use your big bad gloves like Elena has, the big boxing kind of gloves. That gives you a lot of security, and a lot of um, stability in your wrist, okay? All right, so watch again, one more time. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Nice. Okay, so let's do this. For a second here, I want you to put your left leg up front. So if you don't have a partner, left jabbing hand forward. I want you to come in and go left jab, right cross, left hook, okay? So you should be going like this, left hand jab, cross and hook my hand. So, left jab, right cross, left hook. Okay, ready? Come in, jab, cross, hook. Left, right, left. Stay with me. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Left, right, left, okay? Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Let's punch at each other right here. Okay, ready, ready? Jab, cross, hook, okay? So you become a jab, cross, and hook, all right? Again, ready? Jab, cross, hook. I should be on this side with you. There we go. So I'm using my left hand over here. Use your left hand. So we jab, we hit hands, we cross, and we hook together. Ready? Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Follow me. Left jab, right cross, left hook. Okay, jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Nice. Let's go to your right side. I got my right side forward. Put your right hand. So right hand jabs. We punch our hands. We do a cross and we do a hook. So we're going to go right jab, left cross, right hook. Right jab, left cross, right hook. Left jab, right cross, right hook. Ready? On one, go. 
two, three, four, five, hit my right hand to yours, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, awesome, good job guys. Okay, so, uh, need a drink of water? I need a drink, give me a second here. All right, so, there's one more drill I'm gonna leave with you guys. I'm just gonna stick with the, that, that three punch combination. Here's what happens. Most people are always trying to, to, they think that learning is about learning quantity of technique, right? It's not about how many text you, techniques you know, it's about how many techniques that you're perfected, that you're really good at. You don't need a lot of techniques to be a good fighter, all right? You need a handful that you're really good at, you're 100% confident in them, and that you can use them effectively, okay? Bruce Lee had a saying that went something like this. He didn't fear the man who, who, could, who has practiced 1,000 techniques one time. He feared the man who did one technique 1,000 times. He might have said 5,000 or 10,000, but the whole idea is that he feared the guy who perfected one technique. He didn't fear the guy that did 1,000 techniques just one time because he knew that he wouldn't be good at any of it. So what good is it to know a bunch of techniques if you really can't uh, perform them well and execute them, okay? So remember, it's about the quality of your technique, the quality of your skills, not necessarily the quantity, okay? But I got one more drill that I want you guys to work on. It's our blocking drill, and we're going to close with this. So from your punching positions, Elena, um, Elena, go take your gloves off real fast. So you can have your hands open, and let's go into a left guarding stance, and lay down on your right, so put the same side forward as us. We basically had the inward, the inward, the downward, and the downward. So take your um, left front hand and block across. Just a, we don't need to go over there. Just a little bit, maybe to the middle of your body. So if you're looking at me here, guys, I only need to block my face. I don't need to block way over there. Just here, one, two, then three, four. So, Lena's gonna do it with me, come on close, Lena, okay? So from this position, our front and left hand blocks in, the right hand blocks in, across, then that front left hand goes down, and then down. Now your elbows are like on a hinge. You're not moving the whole arm up and down, you're not moving the whole arm across. Just a quick little movement, most of that's right in my wrist, isn't it? So I can just go like this, and I can deflect that. All I need to do is knock that off course. All right, so we're gonna block in, ichi, other hand, ni, san, shi, okay? Ichi, ni, san, shi. Left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. Hope you're doing this with me. Inward, inward, downward, downward. Inward, inward, downward, downward. Now when you're in a hand position, keep a little space right up the middle. Don't do this. That's very ineffective position. I can't punch with this hand back here. I can't block with it, right? You don't wanna stack your hands. Open them up. One on each side of the head, and you're kinda of peek, playing peekaboo in between there. So two more times. Inward, inward, downward, downward. Inward, inward, downward, downward. Now I can do that any way I want. I could go in on this one, down on that one. In on this one, down on that one. I could go in, down, in, down, in, down, in, down. Let's try that. So left hand blocks in and then down. So same hand, in and down, in and down, in and down, in and down. Now let's do this. From here, block in and crossing punch, okay? Block in and crossing punch. So we block and we defend. So if you watch Elena here, okay, face me Elena, she's going to block this and then defend with the backhand. She blocks and defends. 
Now, if I go down, she blocks down block, and that cross. The, the, the backhand yakusuki or that boxing cross is excellent. I go to the body, she blocks down. So anything that comes up here, she blocks with inward or this side inward. Anything that comes down to her body is going to go downward. Okay? So from this position here, let's practice a couple drills. Watch Sensilina and I. So we block in and cross. In and cross. In and cross. Now let's go down. They're coming to our body. Front hand goes down and cross. Now when I do this, I don't leave it down there. I block down. I bring it up as I'm crossing. Okay? Block down. Bring it up as you cross. Down, cross. So it's not one, two, three. It can be when you're practicing right now, but eventually it's going to be one, two. See that? One, two. All right, let's try that. Block one and two. Block down and two. Block down and two. Block down and two. Okay? Now let's do this. Block in. Block down and punch. Good. Front hand. Block in, block down, and punch. The cross. Block in, block down, and punch. Block in, block down, and punch. So here's what you can do with your partner. Very slowly, we can come in here, and I'm just going to go slow and punch here and let her block. All right? Then I might throw some to the body. And we just want to work like that, okay? We play an offense-defense game. I'm practicing good punches. My jabbing punches and my crossing punches. I'm working on that. Okay? And just go slow. Does not have to be fast. Okay? Elena's pretty good at it, so I can mix high in any, pretty much any way I want to do this. At this speed, I know she's going to block almost every one of those, okay? Again. All right? <laughs> so that's a fun game to work at. You know, it's when you're pressing hard and you're sweating and you're smiling at the same time, you're doing something right, right? We like to have that saying, you want to be smiling, you want to be sweating. Okay, guys? So I want to talk about arrow number five on the dojo crest. We got pride, responsibility, integrity, determination, and effort. Okay, a couple things. A black belt is just a white belt who never what? If you said never quit, then you're right. And sometimes getting success is as simple as that. You just don't quit, okay? Successful people just don't quit. Doesn't mean that they don't have setbacks, they don't have failures, they actually have probably more failures than most people because when they want to be successful, they're going to try and try and try, which means they're going to fail, 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 then they're going to succeed. People who don't succeed, they try once or twice and they fail or they quit, right? So no, they don't fail a lot because they just stop. They don't even try anymore. So remember, you have to keep working at it. It's a black belt, just a white belt who simply never quit. A black belt is also someone who gave a little extra effort. Okay, so a little extra effort goes a long, long way. Okay, an extra five minutes of practice, 10 extra punches, 10 extra kicks, one extra day of training. What happens, all that little extra stuff of effort, that little extra effort, that starts to compound itself into some big results. But always remember too that the amount of effort you put into your training is the amount of effort you're gonna get back out of it. Okay, if you're not gonna train hard, you're not gonna get much out of your, your practice. So expect to get in return what you put into things. All right, guys? Excellent. So let's all go in and bow our class. Bow out. Stand up straight. Kyotsuke. We'll do standing bow today. Ray. Arigato gozaimashita. Shinza mi Ray. Good. All right, guys. So I got a feeling we'll be back sometimes mid, sometime maybe mid-May or so. So we just got to do the best we can right now and stick to doing what you're doing. All right, I'm really excited about how many people are actually continuing their practice. That shows me a lot. All right, have a good day. Bye-bye.